And U.S. inflation surging even higher. Consumer prices skyrocketing at 8.5% from a year ago. President Biden's popularity has sunk in recent months even as the unemployment rate has ticked progressively lower amid booming job creation, which experts attribute to record high price increases. The U.S. economy has weathered as it recovers from the pandemic. Now, President Biden blames the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the resulting increase in gas prices as responsible for most of the record increase in U.S. inflation. Let's listen in largest grain producers in the world, China and, uh, should be, Ukraine and Russia, are not doing what they usually do, so everything's going up. We saw today's inflation data. 70% of the increase in prices in March came from Putin's price hike in gasoline. But the Environmental Protection Agency is planning to issue an emergency waiver to allow E15 gasoline that uses more ethanol from homegrown crops to be sold across the United States this summer in order to increase fuel supply. But with this waiver, on June 1, you're not going to show up at your local gas station and see a bag over the pump that has the cheapest gas. You're going to be able to keep filling up with E15, and it's going to solve the whole problem. Now, the Labor Department data show that Americans are facing real financial pain when they go to purchase must-have items. Prices for shelter, the category including rents, rose to 0.5%, while food prices rose 1% overall. Prices for groceries were up 1.5% in the month, 10% over the past year, the largest such increase since March 1981, according to data.